Before Israel launched its war on Gaza, carts driven by donkeys and horses were a rare sight in the Gaza Strip. But today, they have become the main method of transport for people moving around in search of food, daily necessities or to flee Israeli bombardment. In the centre of Gaza, in one of the usually busiest streets of Deir el-Balah, cars are now rarely seen. I'm using the car because I have no other alternative. I want to visit my sister in Al Nusayrat and I have been waiting here for hours to move. We don't have any other means of transportation. With little fuel, if any, available here, another way of traveling is becoming popular, bicycles. People from all walks of life want them, and high demand ascending prices soaring. People have been buying more bikes due to the lack of fuel and the full embargo imposed on Gaza. Palestinians started to repair their old bikes. Before October the 7th, bicycles were cheap in comparison to prices today. Before the war, a bike could cost just over $50, but now that's risen to up to $270. For displaced people like Ahmed al Omri, his bicycle is essential as he strives to get his family members what they need. The bicycle now for me is priceless. I use my bike to go to the market and I sometimes cross six kilometers every day using it. I even use my bike to bring water to my family. My bike is everything for me now amid war. As they are forced to constantly seek what shelter they can under the threat of constant Israeli attack, Palestinians find themselves forced to use more primitive means of transport to survive. Palestinians have been doing whatever they can do to cope with the increasing hardships of their daily lives. Bicycles and donkey carts have fast been the last remaining solution for the transportation crisis caused by the fuel crisis here in the Gaza Strip. Tariq Abazoum, Al Jazeera, Deir el Balah, Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.